Siri, what's the weather? Brr, it's cold out there. <sighs> My hair's wet, guys, and it's 59 degrees. Now, I know what most of you guys are saying. Don't complain about 59 degrees because it's 30 or it's 20 or it's 10 or it's zero or it's Celsius weather and it's something else. But here it's 59 and it's cold because I'm from Florida and it's a rough day. It's a rough day. Actually, I'm kind of happy that it's cold like this. The only thing that stinks is for the second straight week, um, it was hot the whole time we were off for that whole week plus the weekend. Then it got cooler on Sunday and then the whole week it was cool. And then Friday started getting warmer. Saturday it was hot and Sunday started getting cooler again. But once again, it wasn't cool until today. Two straight weeks, we had hot weather during the weekend. Stuff that you guys would wish that was here when if you guys came and visited. And then on the weekdays, when the stuff that you guys would be kind of upset about because it'd be like 50s, is what we are wishing for during the weekends and we're getting it while we're stuck in offices. Two straight weeks now, and guess what? The forecast says it's gonna happen for a third straight week. So it's start warming up Friday, then it's gonna be warm through the weekend and then cool again on the weekdays. It's like they're playing a joke on me. All right, let's get to work. Now it's funny because I remember when I was in New York and like it hit 50 degrees, we were all so excited to just be wearing t-shirts and like, cause we worked outside, but like, so we were happy to not have to wear long sleeves and stuff like that. Down here, I mean, I'm still wearing t-shirts, but I'm more like, man, I should be wearing a sweater right now. Um, it's just funny how things change, like your blood changes and it's just, it's different because when you get used to the season because it gets cooler throughout the, the months, it's easier to handle it even when it's like 30 degrees as opposed to when like Friday it was 81 degrees and now it's, you know, in the 50s. It's a big difference. So, just a quick drop. But um, I know I've got some people that are over in Arizona and I was there for a little while, like for a few days once. And the drop there in the desert between daytime and nighttime, whoo! That is the worst. It gets super cold after being super hot at night. So, I guess there's not too much for me to complain about. I do kind of live in South Florida where a lot of people travel. So, I guess it's not the worst thing. All right, guys, it is lunchtime. I am starving, starving. But I need gas first. I've kind of pushed it off a little bit. 19 miles to empty. Not a good thing at all, but I'm gonna go get gas now and then I'll be good. After that, I'm going to Publix, a grocery store. I'm gonna get some lunch stuff for the week so because funny story i accidentally that camera i bought the other day i accidentally bought it with the wrong card so i'm a little bit broke right now but it's all right it's all right it's gonna be handled not gonna worry about it all right so let's go get some food for the truck some food for the brian and keep going get there get there get there get there come on i can make it don't worry guys I still have 17 miles to empty, and the gas station's right there. If I run out from here to there, it's gonna be an epic failure on my part. So, we should be good, but we'll see. Please, gas station, let me get there quicker. Hurry up, hurry up, gas station. Gas station time. And just like that, I've got gas again. No more worrying, guys. We're good. No running out of gas today. Not hitchhiking back to work. Not yet. I just accomplished a feat that I have never accomplished, at least not on these vlogs, for sure. Now, I actually got the three things I ordered online before I even went, and nothing else. I got some salami, I got some garlic ham, and then I got some, what is this stuff called? Capicolo. Good luck with me saying that word. But yeah, I actually did it. I'm growing up. Okay, keep going. 
I am just driving home. I think I want to pass that guy right there, but I don't know if I'm gonna be able to. Good luck, Brian. So yeah, anyway, um, day's over, which is good. Nice, nice to finally be done with the day. Uh, head home, watch the national championship game. Who do you got? I mean, by the time that this is on, you'll have already seen the game and whatever, but who are you rooting for today? I am rooting for Clemson. I'm an SEC guy, but you know, I, I just wanted to see Clemson win. I, I Their fans have been through so much, uh, like choking over the years, I just like to see them win it. Um, now, not to say if Bama, if Bama wins though, I'm gonna say, hey, SEC won again, but we'll hold that off until it happens. So let's see how Clemson does tonight. I'm excited for it, it should be a good time. Um, I wish it wasn't on a Monday though. Like, why do they do that to us? Monday and it's gonna be like nine o'clock at night. Ugh. West Coast people, don't they know they should all be on our time? I'm home, guys, and we're eating. What is this? This is the bacon chicken, but remember last time you're like, it didn't taste like ranch. I put double the ranch in it. So it's thicker than last time. Just wait till I'm like, there's too much ranch in the ass. I don't know. Think that's gonna happen? No. Look at Melissa all comfy. It's like 85 degrees out and she's wearing. Not. Our AC is off. It's like 62. You say that. Feels like. Windows open. Nice. Finally. I'm ready. Are you ready for the championship game? You look like you're ready for it. <coughs> you look very you look very excited for this football game. I wish we could sit outside by the fire. And watch football game. Fire! Good job, Melissa. You did that all on your own. You're very good at that. This is what we're doing. We've got the TV out, we got the fire on. Melissa's still in her onesie. <laughs> Every time I put you in the video, you cough. Oh. Nice night. And our green pool. But you can't tell it's green when it's bank time. Ha! <laughs> oh, yes. Damn you, Alabama.